Welcome back guys to another one and today let's have a look at Team Group's new SATA SSD series, the Vulcan G, which promises great value for money. Solid state drives have come a long way since that introduction a few years ago and are reaching previously unthinkable price points for SSDs, like 8 cents per gigabyte in this scenario. Of course, some compromises had to be made, lack of DRAM for example for the drive in question, but even so, this new T-Force Vulcan G series from Team Group provides an excellent balance of value for money and performance. The T-Force Vulcan G is armed with a Silicon Motion SM2258XTG controller, Toshiba 64 layer TLC flash memory and it's backed by a 3 years warranty or 800TB endurance rating for the 1TB model that I have to play with today. All of this should convince you in a way to put them on your shopping list when upgrading from a mechanical hard drive or you just after more affordable 2.5 inch storage. As per the time of this review, you can have them in only two capacity options, half a terabyte or one terabyte. Priced at 50 and 80 bucks respectively, these are really good rates considering they use TLC cells and not QLC as per most budget option drives. The T-Force branding is excellent with the logo being highly visible and easy to tell them apart. Then on the back there is a cutout to see the spec stickers from the actual SSD. The drive is secured in this transparent plastic tray and no accessories are provided. Looking at the drive, I highly appreciate the presence of a metal shell for the SSD considering this is a budget drive and most companies just use plastic. Smack in the middle of the SSD lies the Team Group T-Force logo and the model designation is lower in the right corner. I just love how that logo sticks out a bit and it has this cool finish to it. The info sticker on the back pretty much covers everything we need to know. When you install it, just make sure to double check in the BIOS that you have the ACI mode activated in order to use the max bandwidth. With these out of the way, let's give it some benchmarks. In HD Tune Pro, the Vulcan G positioned itself just shy of the Samsung 861TB QVO. Then in the read benchmark of Crystal Disk Mark, we get a reshuffling of the ranks since our previous test and the Vulcan G manages to beat the Samsung in 3 out of the 4 read tests. Moving to the right test, which is even more important in real life scenarios, and here the Vulcan G beats the Samsung QVO in 2 out of the 4 right tests. To conclude the synthetic tests, in Ato, the Vulcan G model manages to surpass not only the Samsung QVO drive, but even the T-Force Delta Max RGB one. Now let's see how fast it is in some app installation tests and load times. The final practical test revolves around some real-life copy tests. Firstly, I will copy to the SSD a single 4GB ISO file to test the burst speed, followed by a copy of the same file from the SSD onto itself. Then the same process is repeated but with a big mixed files of 20GB installation folder from the Rise of the Tomb Raider game title. After some digging I found out that the Vulcan G 1TB SSD has an SLC cache of 350GB which will give it a relaxed headroom to maintain large file transfers at a reasonable speed. If this by any chance is filled, the performance will go down drastically. We are talking about what? Regular hard drive numbers. Alas, in both scenarios, the T-Force Vulcan G delivers good sustained numbers, nothing spectacular given its DRAM-less nature. Well, there's not much more to say guys, considering that the name of the game here is budget friendly, and I think the T-Force Vulcan G with its excellent MSRP has achieved just that. This is an excellent first choice for any new builder out there without breaking the bank or for anybody looking to have some extra storage that will also perform reasonably well. 
I would suspect that a 2TB model, if they ever release it, would excel even better in the sustained speeds area, as long as they keep the same SLC cash ratio and of course the same value for money. The DRAM-less format is visible in large transfers and some burst speed tests, but the fact that you get TLC cells and a metal enclosure should tip the balance favorably to the Vulcan G. So once again, thanks for watching guys and see you in the next one. Alex out.